Niels Bohr, a towering figure in the history of science, whose profound insights into the nature of matter and energy continue to inspire scientific discovery today. Here are 10 facts about the Great Dane, Niels Bohr. 1. Early life and background. Niels Bohr's upbringing in a family of academics deeply influenced his scientific inclinations. His father, Christian Bohr, was a renowned physiologist, and his mother, Ellen Adler Bohr, came from a family of prominent Jewish intellectuals. This heritage set the stage for Niels Bohr's later academic pursuits. 2. The Bohr Model Bohr's atomic model was a revolutionary departure from classical physics. He proposed that electrons could only occupy specific energy levels or orbits around the nucleus. These energy levels were quantized, meaning electrons could only exist in certain discrete states. This concept explained why electrons didn't spiral into the nucleus due to electromagnetic radiation, as predicted by classical physics. 3. Quantized energy states. The Bohr model's concept of quantized energy levels resolved the long-standing puzzle of why atoms emitted light in specific patterns known as emission spectra. Bohr's model explained that when an electron transitions between energy levels, it emits or absorbs energy in the form of light with specific frequencies, giving rise to the characteristic lines in emission spectra. The term, quantum leap, originates from the Bohr model of electrons and refers to the discrete jump that an electron makes between different energy levels within an atom. When an electron transitions from one energy level to another, it does so abruptly and without occupying the space in between. This behavior is in contrast to classical physics, where an object would smoothly transition between states. 4. Nobel Prize Recognition In 1922, Bohr was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for his groundbreaking work on atomic structure and radiation. The Nobel Committee recognized that his model provided a conceptual framework that bridged the gap between classical and quantum physics, significantly advancing our understanding of the atomic world. 5. Involvement in World War II During World War II, Bohr's insights into nuclear physics became critical. He fled Denmark due to the Nazi occupation and sought refuge in the United States. He played a role in the Manhattan Project, contributing to discussions on the potential use of atomic weapons. However, his advocacy for international cooperation and peaceful use of nuclear energy was in conflict with some wartime goals. 6. The Niels Bohr Institute Bohr's establishment of the Institute of Theoretical Physics in Copenhagen created a haven for collaborative research. The institute attracted brilliant minds from around the world such as Werner Heisenberg and Wolfgang Pauli, and fostered an environment of intense scientific exchange. It became a hub for key developments in quantum mechanics and related fields. On October 7, 1965, which would have been Bohr's 80th birthday, the institute was renamed the Niels Bohr Institute in his honor. 7. Complementarity Principle Bohr's philosophical perspective on complementarity emphasized that certain phenomena could be described accurately using seemingly contradictory theories, like wave-particle duality in quantum mechanics. This principle recognized the limitations of classical logic in understanding the behavior of particles at the quantum level. Bohr's principle of complementarity has profound philosophical implications. It challenges the idea of obtaining a complete, deterministic description of the behavior of particles at the quantum level. It suggests that our classical concepts of reality might not be suitable for understanding the behavior of subatomic particles. 8. Sports and physical activity. Bohr's interest in sports and physical activity provided a unique balance to his intellectual pursuits. His involvement in soccer during his youth highlighted his multifaceted nature and showed that he valued both mental and physical engagement. 9. The famous Einstein debates. Bohr and Einstein engaged in spirited debates on the nature of quantum mechanics. Einstein famously quipped that, God does not play dice with the universe, 
expressing his discomfort with the probabilistic nature of quantum theory. Bohr, on the other hand, defended the theory's effectiveness in predicting observations, even if it didn't align with classical intuitions. There are instances documented where Albert Einstein posed challenging questions to Bohr during the debates and discussions on the interpretation of quantum mechanics. Bohr, known for his thoughtful and measured responses, would sometimes take time to reflect on Einstein's questions before formulating a reply. It is said that Bohr would occasionally appear downcast or contemplative in response to Einstein's queries, only to return the next day with a well-considered response. These interactions highlight the depth of the debates between Bohr and Einstein and the complex nature of the questions they grappled with. Einstein's probing questions often focused on the philosophical implications and the underlying assumptions of quantum mechanics, while Bohr's responses aimed to reconcile the novel and counterintuitive aspects of the theory with experimental observations. 10. Death and Legacy Niels Bohr's passing on November 18, 1962, marked the end of an era in the world of physics. Renowned for his contributions to quantum mechanics and his pioneering atomic model, Bohr's death was felt deeply across the scientific community. His legacy extended beyond his revolutionary ideas, encompassing his role as a mentor, philosopher, and advocate for international cooperation in the realm of nuclear science. Bohr's contributions laid the foundation for modern physics, shaping our understanding of the atomic and subatomic worlds. His model and ideas continue to be relevant and foundational to quantum mechanics, which remains a cornerstone of physics and technological advancements today. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more interesting facts about our world.